Here at Sunnylands, we agreed to a number of key principles, including the principle that ASEAN will continue to be central, in fact, indispensable to peace, prosperity, and progress in the Asia Pacific. With, when ASEAN speaks with a clear, unified voice, it can help advance security, opportunity, and human dignity. I believe this summit has put the U.S. ASEAN partnership on a new trajectory that will carry us to even greater heights in the decades ahead. America's foreign policy rebalance to the Asia Pacific, including Southeast Asia, will continue to be a foreign policy priority of my presidency. I offered our assistance to help ASEAN countries better leverage Interpol data to prevent the flow of foreign terrorist fighters. We agree that implementing the Paris Climate Change Agreement, including helping developing countries adapt to and mitigate the impacts of climate change, will be critical, and it will enable them to leap ahead to new and affordable clean energy. The United States and ASEAN are reaffirming our strong commitment to a regional order where international rules and norms and the rights of all nations, large and small, are upheld. We discussed the need for tangible steps in the South China Sea to lower tensions, including a halt to further reclamation, new construction, and militarization of disputed areas.